evening. What's your name, sir? My name is John Courtney. Where are you from? I live in a village called Mosley, which is near Manchester. Oh, OK. Have you brought anyone with you? I've got my wife and two boys, I hear. Woo! Brilliant. How long have you played the piano? Uh, since I was about five, I guess. And is that how you make a living? Yeah. So is this the biggest venue you've performed in? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Palladium is, is like the holy grail to me. I used to watch the shows with my dad, and this is the home of variety. Ah. Oh. Overwhelming. It's amazing. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> Good luck, John. Thank you. This is bonkers. There was a man who had a dream That Simon Cowell and his team Would watch him play piano and try to slay them On the stage of the Palladium And in the time that one song took David would write another book <laughs> Alicia would smile at him Amanda would be kind to him Simon's teeth would be blinding him <laughs> If he was smiling but nothing now could ever spoil The dream he dreamed like Susan Boyle I like this already! Yes, John! Let's see if we're, we haven't been in it yet. The fact is, he never thought he'd ever get to be In front of millions of people doing his thing on TV Thirty years of playing in piano bars and pubs Dodging glasses when they're thrown Being thrown out of clubs When your children ask daddy When you're coming home This game is not the same when you're just daddy on the phone So he sits at the piano And he tries to get prepared Thinking he'll write it in third person So he doesn't feel as scared To sing about himself to a bunch of strangers in the dark But then Britain has got talent And he wants to make his mark Paul Potts won the first year and said it was insane The second year George Sampson won singing in the rain Lost Voice Guys season 12 And last year Colin Thackeray So why not me? <laughs> yeah, why yeah, not you? Why not you? That's what he said His youngest boy One night in bed Dad, why not you? Go and show them what you do and even though you'll be a wreck, at least you'll meet Anton Day. Ah, we get the song! We're in it! Yeah! And he thinks on stage, at this stage in his life, with an expensive mortgage and a pensive wife. <laughs> his youngest son, Alfie, says, what's it all about? If he had any hair left, he'd pull it out. His teenage son said, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His dad taught him to play piano But he didn't live to see His son at the famous theatre Performing on TV If he didn't see it through Imagine how sad The look on the faces of both his lads Who always tell him You're the greatest showman dad They'll see me on BGT No more third person, just daddy This is me fault a bit, I don't know why. I just saw a man who kind of made all his dreams come true. It really was, yeah. <laughs> David. It was just so winning, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, my goodness me, it made the whole audience, and I'm sure everyone watching at home, just fall in love with it. 
I love him. It had everything, and at the end, he had us moved to tears. This show is perfect for you, and now I want to see you go as far as you can in this competition. Wow. Well done. Uh, John, it was just a wonderful audition. You are somebody who's worked for years, needs a break. You'll get a huge reaction of this, I promise you. And we all want you to do well. So I would love to be the, the first to say yeah. yes. Yeah. You deserve it. You deserve it. Here's the other son. Here he comes.